Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review the hardware of the Megger Byte 2P battery impedance test equipment. Let's get started. The Megger Byte 2P is a battery impedance test set used for internal AC impedance measurements, recording DC terminal voltage values, and measuring the interconnection resistance for the straps in a battery string. Here you can see the Mega Byte 2P transmitter module, receiver, potential probe, amp clamp, and the red and black current injection clamps. Now let's discuss the test buttons, connections, and indicator lights on the Mega Byte 2P. The J1 connector, as seen on the right-hand side of the test set, is where a standard power cord is inserted to provide a 120 volt, 60 hertz, or 230 volt, 50 hertz power supply. The on-off switch is located just under the J1 receptacle. When placed in the on position with a good voltage supply, the red LED will illuminate. The J2 connector is located in the top right-hand corner of the test set. Here you connect the transmitter current source leads. The red current clamp is connected to the first positive terminal of the battery string from the charger, and the black current clamp is placed on the last negative terminal before it returns to the charger. After you've connected the red and black current source leads, you can place the green current button to the on position. When placed in the on position, the current button will illuminate green as seen here. When the coupling capacitors in the transmitter have properly charged to the bus voltage, the yellow current ready light will illuminate. The digital ammeter will indicate the magnitude of the AC source current being transmitted from the Megabyte 2P. The meter operates on a scale of 0 to 15 amps. The overvoltage warning light, as shown here, indicates that an overvoltage condition is present across the current source leads. An overvoltage condition indicates that there is more than 275 volts DC that exists on the circuit. The current ready light will go out and the current will stop being applied to the battery. Here we see the J3 printer cable connection. The printer cable is connected here and to the 7 pin connector on the bottom of the receiver unit. This provides the means to print the test data stored in the receiver utilizing the Mega Byte 2P printer. The receiver unit is used independently from the Byte 2P transmitter to take measurements along the battery string. It is important to charge the receiver before its use. To do so, connect the charging cable to the J4 connector on the Byte 2P and to the charger connection on the rear of the receiver. After doing so, press the receiver charger button on the Byte instrument. It will illuminate green and the red LED will come on. The red LED will blink when the battery is fully charged. Here we see the potential probe, receiver unit, and amp clamp. These three devices are used together for taking measurements across the battery string. As you can see, the potential probe and amp clamp are connected to the bottom of the receiver unit while testing. First, let's take a detailed look at the receiver unit. To power up the receiver, press the green power on button. Next, we have the up and down arrow keys. They are used to scroll through the receiver menu to set up your test. After you've made the appropriate selections in the receiver menu, you'll press the enter key to begin. The trigger located on the handle of the receiver is pulled to perform the functions of the receiver. This includes entering test information. The LCD display menu is utilized to set up the test application for different types of batteries and to display measurement values while testing the battery string. Here we see the bottom of the receiver unit where the seven pin connector of the potential probe is connected. Both the potential probe and the receiver feature spring-loaded tips for application to the battery terminals for impedance, DC voltage, and strap resistance measurements. The third component needed for the battery measurements is the amp clamp. The amp clamp is a current transformer used to measure the current flowing across the battery string while testing. To do this, you will connect the amp clamp around an inner cell connection along the battery string. Now let's take a look at a few of the accessories for the Byte 2P. These probe extensions are mounted on the end of the receiver pistol and potential probe. They are utilized to allow you to take measurements on battery cells in small tight spaces. The set of extensions shown 
Catalog number 34943-000 will extend the end of each pistol grip by 12 inches. Next we have the extender rods. These are intended for use with the extension rod ends previously shown. They extend the reach an additional 12 inches. The probe extension kit, catalog number 34943-001, includes both the pistol grip extensions and the extender rod for a total reach of 24 inches. This concludes our review of the hardware for the Mega Byte 2P battery impedance test equipment. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.